Hey guys, it is Tanya with Thrifty Treasures. Better late than never, right? <laughs> Can you guys hear me okay? Happy 4th of July! So, um, yeah, I wasn't going to do this stream because I, I posted on my Facebook last night um, that I was going to do a sales update today, but and my post is only up for like six minutes, and I got to thinking, well, wait a second, I might want to go to Goodwill in the morning and run around. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I deleted the post that I made, right? But then I forgot that YouTube, I guess it still sends out notifications, um, like whenever I'm going to go live. So, oops. <laughs> so Lonnie and Chad were giving me a hard time. Uh, but here I am. So I want to say hi in the chat. Um, hey, Tina. Hey, Jory. And Dwayne. And Lonnie. And Henry. And Chad. Um, oh, let me try and move this up. And John, did I already say John? Hey, John. And I think that's everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Tina, Scott's here. And thank you, Dwayne, so much for my super chat. That's so much fun. Thank you. Okay. All right. Oh, and Diesel Engine Freak is here. Okay. You guys, whenever I'm the only one in control, I really have to pay attention. I'm not used to that. <laughs> okay, and plus it's like so boring not having anybody to talk to. It's just me, Angie and Yvonne. Yay, hey, two of my favorite people. Yay. Um, so, so first of all, before I get started with some sales, I have no idea how I'm going to screen share because I haven't done that forever. <laughs> so fingers crossed it all works out. Um, hey, Ruthie D, cool things. Um, hey, Mike, what's going on? Okay, so I checked my P.O. box yesterday, and somebody sent me something, like, but it doesn't say who it's from. It's just, like, from um, a company. So the name of the company is Pet Bites Pet Products, and somebody sent me this taco uh, dog toy. It's a squeaky toy. So if, um, oh, here come the dogs now. So if somebody sent it to me, thank you. If the company sent it to me, thank you, Pet uh, Pride Bites uh, Pet products, thank you so much. And they are based in Austin, Texas. So that is pretty cool. It's so cute though. I don't want to give it to the dogs, right? Because then it'll get all, all dirty and yucky. But yeah, uh, taco, taco doggy toy. Um, <clears throat> okay. So like I said, I have not screen shared in forever. So um, let me try this. I'll try my hand at this and see what happens. So I know it's been some time since I have done a um, sales update. You know, uh, one thing leads to another and you get busy and you forget and then you're behind and you're like, oh gosh, and it just takes forever to bring all that stuff up. And so I'm just, um, I'm bringing you what I've got. Um, here are some uh, sales from June and a couple from the beginning of uh, July as well. Hey, for, hey, super sunshine thrifter. And Michael, oh, hello from Romania, hello. Okay, um, oh yeah, screen sharing. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> All right, so let me figure this out. Screen share, oh. Let's see. Okay, can you guys see that okay? Now how am I going to do this? Um, hey Leslie, hi Arlene. Hey, it's Steven Steph Resale Killers. Hello, Jerry. Totally heard that taco squeak and perked up. <laughs> cute. I love Jerry. He's so stinking cute. Okay, so this is um, now. Let me go see if I'm screen sharing here. How am I gonna see it? Okay, well I'm just gonna start talking, to you guys. So. Um, I just sold this little, uh, it's a child size sterling silver Native American sign J Ba Bay. I'm not even sure how you say that cuff bracelet. This I, I picked up at the thrift store. I think I paid $3 and 99 cents for this and I had it up for 79 99 and she sent a best offer of $60. So I took that and shipped it straight out yesterday. Same day I sold it. Yay me, <laughs> which doesn't happen too often. Um, so let me see, how do I get to the next one? Uh, how do I get back to y'all? This is so confusing. I don't know how people do it. Um, 
Let's see, why isn't it moving to the next one? Do you guys see my hat now? Oh, okay, good, there it is. Okay, so this hat, I believe I paid $2.99 for it. Thanks, Angie, she says great sale. Um, and this still sold really fast. I think I just picked this up like last week and um, for $2.99 and it sold for $19.99. It is an Obey Propaganda Stratback Blue and Yellow flor Floral Print hat. And um, yeah, so that was a fun little quick flip. And let's see, you know we gotta talk about the cat oil paintings. <laughs> Hey, Chicago Crown Hustler, that is Kurt. Hello, good morning, how are you? Um, okay, so there is the cat picture. This is one of the ones that, um, well, actually, I've only sold three of them. I have like 10, but I only hit posted three so far. But I did get another one listed on Etsy this morning. So, And I listed it on Etsy for $59.99. I'm not even kidding. And I feel like I might be able to get it, so we'll just have to see what happens. Um, like I said, I'm doing an experiment with um, that. And if you don't know what my experiment is, it's just that um, I feel like I can get more money on Etsy for these oil paintings than I can on eBay. However, um, I did go ahead and uh, double list it on eBay as well for that higher price, 59. So we'll, we'll just see what happens. Like I said, it's just fun to do experiments. Um, okay, Angie, you don't like cats? <laughs> I love cats, but I'm like allergic. So every time I get around a cat, I start sneezing and wheezing, but I love them. I really do. Okay. So yeah, this one sold for $24.99 and I believe I picked it up for, um, why is that move over to Zoom? Do you guys see that big square over it? Can you not see it good? Um, okay, that's better. So yeah, and this was, um, some of them were $2.99 and some of them were $3.99. So, um, and I charged some shipping as well. Uh, Kurt says he's very allergic to cats. Lonnie wants to blow it up. <laughs> Steph, you're so funny. Is this Steph or Steve? Steph, you're funny. You guys are both so funny. You crack me up. <laughs> oh, Lonnie blow stuff up that's so funny okay so um, I guess I could close these out as I go okay so here is a uh, official NFL Kansas City Chiefs coffee mug um, are you guys seeing that yet there's like a lag like am I talking about it before you're seeing it hi Kelly um, Okay, fun. I bet you guys are listing, huh? Posting something, Steve and Steph, I bet. Um, so yeah, this, uh, so I'm talking about it before you're seeing it, Dwayne? Yes? Okay, I'll wait till it starts showing up, showing up on my, um, okay, all right, I'm just going to go with it. So yeah, this mug, I, seriously, I think I've had it for two years. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I have no idea what I bought it for, but it couldn't have been more than a dollar. Um, it sold for $14.99 plus $7.95 shipping. Um, they've already received it and left me positive feedback, so it's all good. Um, let's see. The next item, oh goodness. Okay, so these are James Avery Sterling Silver uh, 14 karat gold hearts. And now the center part is 14 karat gold. The outer part there is sterling. Now let's just talk about these. So I sold these like, I don't know, three weeks ago for $95. And then when the person got them, they said that, um, let me show you the back of the, so you can see. So if you look here, you can see that there's no actual post on the earring. And it doesn't look like somebody altered them. If they were altered, a jeweler had to do it. Because if you look like right here, you can tell, I mean, it's not, it doesn't look like somebody ripped anything off. I mean, it's a nice clean finish. So I advertised them um, as clip earrings, but I guess she didn't see that. And I guess because I said, I had originally said French post or some French something in my listing. And then I guess that threw her off. And so she was confused. And so she returned them and um, I refunded her money. Hi, reseller niche podcast and a purple lily. Um, 
But so yeah, then I got an offer for a hundred dollars. So I gladly accepted that and um, She is happy. She's already left me feedback. So yay. I'm very happy. It's all good a really good sale um, and already got that feedback All right, here is the next item um, I know that I've told you guys sometimes I will do a little bit of shopping at the antique mall where I have a booth and um, so I picked up this Josiah Wedgwood Green. I can't even say that word. Angie, help me out. Majolica Gurgle Fish Base. And I think I paid $5 for this at the Antique Mall. And I listed it for $49.99. And that is what it sold for, plus $14.50 shipping. Um, Right, Chad says they sell once, they will sell again. Yes, and, and it was a really fast turnaround, so I was glad about that. So yeah, you guys, I mean, I find stuff at my antique mall all the time to flip, so um, I love to go shopping there. If I didn't have any time constraints, I could wander around that mall probably for four hours. It's huge, and um, I just love looking at stuff. And sometimes people really, really don't know what they have, and you know, you might find some good deals. Okay, this one, you probably heard me talk about this on the stew last week. Um, I picked this up for a dollar or two at a garage sale, and I received a best offer for $39.99. And it uh, was uh, going to Hawaii. So, and it is a vintage 49 peg accordion wall hat, coat, mug, rat, expanding jeweler, holder, hooks. You got to get those keywords in, people. So, um, yeah, and this is the item that I did a Franken box on. Hey, Maggie Doodle. <laughs> so glad that you're able to be here. Yay. Um, right. That's so true. Yvonne says it's weird how in this smartphone age that some people still don't know what they have. Yeah, it's true. They don't. And I just bought something this morning. I'm going to show you guys whenever I finish my cells that, oh, my goodness, I just noticed my MacBook's on 19%. Hang on one second. So unprepared, you guys. But yeah, I picked up something this morning for three ninety nine. I'm gonna show you guys whenever I'm done. I'm hoping to get a lot of money for it. Okay, so um, let's see. Oh, Lonnie, you have ideas of what I picked up? Is that what you're saying? Oh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, I'm moving on. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Okay, here is another James Avery piece. This is a sterling silver hammered hook-on bra bracelet bangle. Um, this piece actually came in a jewelry jar, and um, so it's probably like maybe a dime or a quarter cost to me. And it sold for $36. And there you can kind of see where it's marked. Let me show you. See, it says Avery Sterling. Now on this one, let me show you what the James Avery mark looks like. Because this is kind of how they look. Now you see that little, it almost looks like a candelabra. So um, be on the lookout for that. James Avery is a really good seller. Okay, so I talked about that one. Now I'm going to talk about, so another James Avery piece. This one came inside of a um, jewelry jar as well. So again, probably about a dime or a quarter to me. This one is the butterfly latch bracelet bangle. Real pretty. This is so pretty, you guys. I would love to have this for myself in gold, but of course the gold is super expensive. But I love the butterflies. Um, but I'm just not. I just don't wear silver a whole lot. It doesn't really look good with my complexion. Plus, I just don't really fancy it quite so much as I do gold. Um, but yeah, this one sold. It was on sale, twenty percent off. So it sold for thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus three ninety five shipping. And the next item, this wasn't a really big sell, but it was just so cute. I wanted to show you guys. Um, and you can definitely tell that it's vintage. 
Let's see, is it going to come up on y'all's end? There it is. Isn't it cute? So it's a stunning vintage signed art enamel rhinestone owl brooch pen. And um, it sold for $14.99 plus $3.95 shipping. So um, let's see, it was marked here. Is that a hair on there? I can't be having that. Let's see. See there, it's signed art. So sometimes those art pieces, like if you go to eBay and you type in like signed art brooch and sort highest to lowest, some of those go for really good money. Um, and then here are some other art pieces. I picked these all up at the same time, the same place. And I think they were like 99 cents each. So um, here is a rare vintage signed art grasshopper brooch, scatter pins, gold tone, lot of two. And let me show you where they're signed. So you can see right there it says art. And you can just tell they're vintage looking too. They just look, and look at his little little rhinestones on his little antennae too. Those are cute. Okay. So um, I love what Maggie posted on her Instagram. I think it was yesterday. She said something like, it was a sign and it read something like, I have too much jewelry and said no one ever or something like that. And I just thought it was so funny. I'd love that Maggie. So, um, but yeah, I've been trying to get back into the Etsy. I, I should have probably might've gotten more money for these on Etsy if I would have done it over there. Hi Pamela. Okay. So let's see. I can close all this stuff. Oopsie. Okay, so here is a uh, book and DVD set. I picked this up for, I think, $2.99. And, um, you know, did the research on it and saw that they were selling good. And it sold for $34.99 plus $3.95 shipping. And the name of it is, What Did You Expect? Paul David Tripp, Redeeming Realities of Marriage, DVD and the book. Okay, so here is another one of the cat paintings I sold. This one sold for $24.99. So, um, I mean, I've definitely already made my money back that I put into these oil paintings. I think I spent like $38 or something for all 10 of them I bought. So that book looks depressing. You're so funny, Lonnie. <laughs> right? I didn't even look at it. I just sold it. Sold it. I just sold it. Okay. Um, okay. And there is the third and final one I sold on eBay lately. So this is a little tabby cat. Super cute. Love those eyes. Sold for $24.99 plus $8.75 shipping. And actually, I shipped the most recent one I sold yesterday in a, uh, a vinyl, not a vinyl, but like um, one of those boxes that you use to ship records. And it was a perfect perfect fit so um yeah that's how i'm going to ship these bigger ones they, they fit really good in the record millers okay so um on to my etsy sales so yay i've been getting back into etsy i'm so excited angie has really motivated me and encouraged me um, to get back into it i've been on etsy since about 2008 but i haven't done um, a ton over there with it i've severely neglected it but I am back in it again. If you guys want to follow me, I am Couture Adore over there also. And um, this uh, rainbow strap igloo tag along tin uh, vintage cooler that you're seeing. Um, I had this uh, cross posted on eBay as well. And I think it was even cheaper on eBay. I think I had it for $59.99 and I had it on Etsy for $69.99 and it sold for that price. So um, that was so exciting to get my very first Etsy sale, um, you know, because I haven't had one in forever. And, um, and then I sold something else over there. Okay, so these coasters here, I think uh, John Cincinnati Picker has, has a little bit of video of me showing these. We picked these up in um, Chicago when we were there for the reseller rally. I think I spent two about two dollars on these. I can't remember exactly. Imagine that. Um, but yes, they sold for nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. 
So um, I was real excited about that to have a second sale on Etsy. Yay! So um, Stephen Steph says that strap is what makes the cooler. Yes, I know. I wanted to keep it, but I like the money better. So. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, so let me stop this screen share. Um, let me find where I'm at over here. There's a lot of windows open, folks, and I'm not used to this. <laughs> um, you are screen sharing. Stop. Okay, here I am. Okay, can you guys see me okay now? Lonnie says he hasn't sold one item that he bought there yet. <laughs> um, Pamela asks, how long did you start back on Etsy before you got to sell? Um, well, gosh, I was listing, listing, listing stuff over there probably about, I don't know, maybe two weeks. And I'm pretty close to having 100 listings over there again. I think I'm at 97. So because I've sold some stuff, there and then I sold some stuff on eBay that I had to end on Etsy. The number keeps fluctuating. Um, okay, so I want to show you guys what I picked up this morning when I went to Goodwill. So here it is. It's this really pretty bracelet. And um, anybody guess who it's made by? Any guesses? Hey, Julie. You know what? There was a sale that I forgot to show you guys. I wonder if I had sold a pair. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you. It's Sorelli. <laughs> and I doubt you're going to be able to see it because the, um, well, maybe you might be able to see it. Can you guys see that okay? So it is marked Sorelli. And this jewelry can sell for good money. So I picked it up for $3.99, and I'm going to list it for $250. So I've done a lot of research since I got home this morning. You know, like when I should have been busy getting this um, show ready, <laughs> I was list. I was right in the process of listing it, and that's when um, I got the word from from my friends there. They're like, "Hey, you're supposed to be live right now." <laughs> so um, yeah, and I'm not even going to put a best offer on it initially. I'm going to let it um, ride for probably I don't know, maybe two or three weeks, and then if I don't get any um, any bites. I will uh, definitely put a uh, best offer on there. But yeah, if you go, there's some costume jewelry, you guys, that can bring really good money. Um, I sold a pair of, uh, if you go look at my solds, like on my eBay, I sold a pair of Sorelli earrings that I had found in a jewelry jar. They're real pretty green ones. And I think I only sold them for like $25. And I probably could have got more. Um, but yeah, you just got to do research, you guys. Um, spell that name, please. Um, Julie says, okay, so I'm going to spell it for you. It's S-O-R-R. -R. I'm pretty sure it's E-L-L-I. Here, I'll write it in the chat and make sure I get it right. So let me come over here. Yeah, let me just double make sure I'm right. So, our, yep, that's right, Sorelli. Um, <laughs> okay, it's Stephen Steph giving you a hard time with the jury. The jewelry, okay, I guess I have a bad habit of saying jury. So they're teasing me about that. That's so funny. Um, and speaking of jury, uh, Steve and Steph and I are supposed to be doing a jury jar opening too. <laughs> so I can't wait for that. That would be a really fun show. Um, oh, that's a new one for you, Angie? Wow, I'm impressed. Or I'm surprised that I was able to teach or you something that you didn't know about. That's awesome. Um, yes, Mike says... Mike, the crazy card says, some costume is worth more than its weight in gold. That is so true. Definitely. <laughs> Silver hair stacker, hello, hello. Um, wow, I have 52 viewers. That might be the, 
most viewers I've ever had. So I'm waiting to hear back from Deb. I don't know if she wants to stew today. Um, I told her if she wanted to, I would. So we'll see if she uh, messaged me back. I don't know. I don't have my Facebook open right now. Sometimes. Um, hi, Loopy Stitches. Oh, you want to see the bracelet again? Here's the bracelet. And I'm about to list it on eBay. Um, I just need to edit the pictures and then I'll post it. But I've already uploaded everything. And um, it's even got this like little safety clasp here. It hooks on right there. Um, let me open it and show you. I'll just open it again and show you the Sorelli mark. Hey, Fran. You're going to have to go back and watch the replay, Fran. You missed all my sales. Oh, yeah. And um, that reminds me. So um, Saturday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, I'm going to be on Dwayne's channel. His uh, YouTube channel is Mothership Products, and he has started this really awesome auction show. And so he's been doing it for the past couple of weekends. And um, so I'm getting together like 15 to 20 items, and I want you all to um, come on over and bid all my crap. <laughs> So I'm really trying so hard to get some fun items together, you know, so I want it to be fun for you guys um, Andy says tiny you will have to check to make sure that is old enough for Etsy. Yeah, I don't think that it is so um, I think I'm just gonna put it on eBay and maybe Poshmark too. I don't know I cross posted something on Poshmark this morning I see so many people doing well over there. I don't really know a ton about it but, um, you know, if it's another avenue for me to make money, I'm willing to uh, tinker around with it. So, um, okay, so Steven Steph says, uh, Tanya, what's the holy grail of costume jewelry? Okay, Angie, you got to help me with this. <laughs> um, gosh, I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to give that some thought. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's brands I've probably never even heard of. Um, you have to think about it. Yeah, so I'll probably list it on Poshmark and eBay. So here is that hallmark again. Let me find it. Okay, here it is. No, I'm not going to be selling this Sorelli on the auction show, Lonnie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Miriam Haskell, Pamela says, that's a good one. Um, and I've seen some Ann Klein stuff go for good money as well. Let's see. Hi, Prairie Picking Girls. She says she's not doing great on Posh. I'm even giving advice on closets. See, yeah. Do I have to mess with closets? Can I just go and list my stuff? Is that okay? <laughs> I don't want to learn all the details. Um, Yes, I do like to price high <laughs> because you cannot make a lot of money unless you ask for a lot of money. Right, Yvonne? So, um, yeah, Miriam Haskell is definitely a good one. So does anybody have any questions? I'm sorry if I missed um, any questions if you asked them in the chat. When you're doing things by yourself, sometimes um, it's hard to catch everything, right? Um, yeah, Angie, she is just a wealth of information. She is so smart with all this jewelry, and she's also the keyword queen. <laughs> she can get those keywords now. Um, Yvonne says, that's my girl. <laughs> um, Prairie Picking Girl says, go to your public library and get a couple jewelry books. It is like looking at the Christmas catalogs. That's so true. I have a few books here myself, um, and I love to look at them. What made me think to pick it up, Dwayne? Um, <clears throat> just the way it looked. I mean, who wouldn't pick this up for three ninety nine? dollars <laughs> um, But, yeah, I definitely think it probably looks more modern. I think it's vintage-inspired, probably. <clears throat> Explain the auction show, please, Pamela asks. Um, 
Hey, Loopy Stitches. Yeah, glad you're here. Um, let's see. So what happens is I'm going to show my items, and I think Dwayne is going to be handling the bidding for it. So he might say, okay, we're going to start this item at a dollar, and then if you want to bid on the item, then you say so in the chat because we'll have a live chat going. Um, he's actually done a couple in the past. If you want to go check them out, again, his channel is Mothership Products. And um, within the past couple of weeks, he's done two shows. So definitely go check those out. It should be a lot of fun. And, and when you're in the audience, you know, if you see something you want, it's kind of fun to bid against, you know, your, your friends. So like, for example, um, Chris, the walking picker, he had a chicken timer. And I really wanted that chicken timer. And, and John and uh, Whitney had already left because they wanted it too. So by the time it was time to start bidding on it, they were gone. So I was glad. So it was just, um, it was me and Christopher Nice bidding on it, and he actually won it. But then he told Chris, um, you know, send him the invoice, but send it to Tanya. So I thought that was so sweet. Um, so I'm excited about that. I did pick up some boxes at the PO box yesterday. I haven't opened them, but I'm hoping that little chicken timer is in one of those boxes. Um, so it's a lot of fun, definitely. Lonnie, are you going to do it? And Angie, you guys got to do it. That'd be so fun. Um, and I, like I said, uh, for kicks, I may or may not be bringing in a couple naughty things. Um, it's always good clickbait to talk about, talk like that, right? <laughs> but yeah. Um, and actually, I spoke to Dwayne's wife, Heather, yesterday. And Heather's bringing something naughty to the auction. <laughs> so you guys will have to tune in. Oh, Lonnie, I'm sure Dwayne's going to let you do it. What's a chicken timer? A purple lily ask. Um, is Dawn in here, Harley woman? I didn't see her coming in. Hi, Dawn. Um, a chicken timer. Like, you know, if you're cooking something in the kitchen and you want to set a timer, say it's got to cook for 10 minutes, you can, you know, turn the little switch to a uh, knob or whatever it's called to 10 minutes or something. I don't know if you want to time something. <laughs> Uh, do you need to register, Loopy Stitches asks. No, just show up in the chat. Um, Dwayne, link the show. Have you made the, the link for the show yet? Oh, it's an egg timer. Okay. Well, I don't care what it is. I just thought it was cute and it looked cute in my kitchen, so <laughs> I wanted it. That's how I am. See, you shouldn't be that way. You should know all of the details before you bid on something, right? Um, no, not yet, Dwayne says. But um, if you guys are friends with me on Facebook, it's uh, Thrifty Treasures Tanya. I'll be uh, posting that link soon for sure. I just made the uh, graphic for it yesterday. It's really funny. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see it. Um, okay, so Dwayne says the only thing is you need to be able to um, have a PayPal account so that you can uh, pay for the items if you win. Um, Jory says he will auction myself. Uh, that's so funny, Jory. Um, okay, so Steph says that so the egg is still in the chicken and you cook it. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even I don't even know what I'm getting. It's just whatever it is, it's shaped like a, a chicken and it's some kind of timer. <laughs> I wish I had my boxes here. I'd go open it real quick and show you guys. You want me to go get it? Let me know if you want me to go get it. I'll go get it. It's in the car real quick. Well, there's a little box and I suspect the timer could be in there. Um do you do windows? Huh? We were all drunk at the time. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, everybody hit the thumbs up. Let me know if you like the video. Okay, so yes, you want me to go get it, Dwayne? Let me know. Do you guys want me to go get the chicken timer? Do you want to see it? Yes, go get it, Loopy says. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? Talk amongst yourselves. Oh wait, that's not, wait, what am I doing here? Hang on, y'all.
Okay, I'm back. Can you guys see me? Okay, so I've got a ton of packages. I say a ton, I've got like three packages, but they're from Chris and Dwayne. So, and look, look at this little bitty label. Is that like the cutest little label you've ever seen? I've never seen a label that little. So, let me open it real quick. Hope, hopefully, I, honest to God, I can't remember what I bet on you guys. Isn't that horrible? Um, let's see. What? Silver Hair says, I guess it's good to know when an egg gets laid. What? What in the world has been going on? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is it. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I can't stand that it. it's so cute. So you could time for up to an hour. It doesn't have to be an egg. I could time. Listen, makes a little ticking noise too. Let's see what it does when time's up. We, Mike says we can't afford to bet on Tanya's stuff. She buys stuff for like a quarter and sells it for two hundred. I'm sure all the bidding's going to start at a dollar, for real. But yeah, here it is. So thank you so much, Christopher. Nice. That's so sweet of you. Is it vintage? I would definitely say it's vintage. I don't know. We have to ask Chris, the walking picker. I think it was Roxy's. It's so cute, though. And he sold for like $17. <laughs> and I think um, John or Lonnie said, I can't remember, you can go buy it on eBay probably for about 4 bucks shipped. <laughs> so, um, hi, Sherry. So glad you made it. Happy 4th of July. And hi, in the sun by the beach. I don't think I said hi to you. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's that. You guys want to see what else I got? Let's just open the packages. So this is another one from Chris. I think I bit on a shirt. Hey, Sherry, I see that you're in the, in the chat. Did you send me a taco dog toy? So this is an Orvis uh, men's dress shirt. I think I paid a dollar for this. Two dollars? I can't remember. Um, Lonnie says, buy it from Tanya, Dwayne. Buy what? You ain't getting my chicken timer. What you talking about? <laughs> All right, now this big box is from Dwayne. I think, I, what did I bid on, Dwayne Books? Sherry says, no, not a taco dog toy, just a luggage tag. Yeah, okay, well, somebody sent me a taco dog toy. It's super cute. Here it is. You didn't get to see it. So here it is. Isn't it cute? The dogs love it. They're going nuts with me squeaking it. Is Jerry hearing it? You still hear Steven Steph? Okay, I'll stop. Now they're getting to the point where they're crying. Okay, so what's in the box? Oh, but yeah, Sherry sent me a really cute little taco luggage tag. And I actually had that on my luggage when we went to Chicago, Sherry. <laughs> so thank you so much. I love it. I filled out my little name and address in there. Um, here comes Desi. Angie says that's so funny. <laughs> okay. Julie's dogs are going crazy. Sherry says, do not upset Skippy and Coco, right? Okay, books. I think that's all I got. Yeah, books. Let's see. I don't remember. I think this lady, was she a comedian? Is that right, Dwayne? And Diane Dilks, hello. She says her dog went crazy. <clears throat> Twain's a good rapper. Like, he knows how to ship stuff, right? Look, all fancy pants. Irma Rombeck, four hilarious bestsellers. So, awesome. 
I'm going to probably put this up on eBay. And heck, maybe even Etsy. It looks pretty old. Dwayne, did you seal this or was it brand new sealed? Dwayne's a fancy pants rapper, Lonnie says. Lonnie, did you see I made you a moderator? Um, see, they're still barking at me. Look at them. Let me see if I can pick the camera up and show you guys. Look, they're barking at me. Do you guys see them? <laughs> Say hi, Skippy and Coco. You're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. Say hi. Woof, woof. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so hi, Chiari. She says that Irma was hilarious. Um, wait, what was cruel? That I didn't give on the taco toy? Um, that's right, Lonnie, you have the power. Uh, why are y'all still crying? You're acting weird. Sometimes they try and trick uh, Kurt and me, like Kurt will feed them early in the morning, and then like I'll get up like 30 minutes later, and they'll be like all acting like they're hungry, trying to get fed twice. <laughs> So, um, Dwayne, did, did you say that those were new sealed? Oh, well, yes, yeah, sealed. That way new. Okay, good. All right, yeah, I'm going to sell them, but I can't sell them because, I mean, how am I supposed to know what year they were? Uh, what year they came out, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'll open it anyway. Okay. Uh, Hi, Steph M. She says, laugh not lie, that was like nobody's talking to you. Wait, what? Okay, so does anybody have any questions? I guess I'm about to wrap this up. Um, and the sun by the beach says, I'm a sucker for feeding manipulative pets, right? <laughs> they are manipulative, for sure. Yes, I'm talking about you. Quit barking at me. They want a taco. That's so funny. All right, I'm going to give it to them. I'm probably just going to stare at it and look at it, but I'm going to give it to them. This says, awarded best dog toy. Squeak for one, one more time, right? Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to throw it down. Let's see what they do. All right, you ready? Some taco? No taco? Yeah, see, they walked right away from it. What's the matter? Go get that taco, Skippy. Mmm, num num. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Julie, oh, let me write that down. 1977, selling for $10. Where, Julie, on eBay? 1977, $10. Um. Bye, Pamela. <laughs> Diane says my dog is bringing her toys. <laughs> and Silver Hair Stacker says one toy for two dogs. That should work well. And eh, they don't always both like the same thing, so it's all good. I just read that, I don't know, like sometimes you just glance at something and you see something and I thought, wouldn't that be cute, like a taco planter, like a little uh, planter in the shape of a taco to put a plant in? <laughs> okay, I'm totally rambling now. Hey, Lynn, nice to see you here. I know, what's the matter with that chihuahua? doesn't want that taco. But I tell you what, Coco, uh, the little brown one, she likes watermelon. She loves watermelon. Skippy's just like, meh, turns his nose up at it. But Coco will eat that watermelon. Uh, Steph says, better clip this part or you won't get the Taco Toy Winner of the Year sponsorship. <laughs> right? Well, that's because they were supposed to send two, not one. Um, 
Mike says the taco is as big as the dogs, right? It is a big taco. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Steph says now she wants tacos. Thanks, Tanya. Well, it's it's Tuesday. I mean, hello, Taco Tuesday. Where's it Tuesday Taco? Taco Tuesday. Yeah. Seriously, we have tacos like once a week. I'm not even kidding. I know it does sound good, but I think we're gonna end up having. What are you guys doing later today for the Fourth of July? We are going to go um, over to a friend's house. That lives out in the country. It's actually one of my mom's friends, and uh, we have a bunch of fireworks left over from this past weekend because uh, we had gone out of town to see some family, and they live out in the country um, where I grew up, such a lovely place, and we did a bunch of fireworks there, and we have some left over, so we're going to uh, do those tonight and have hamburgers and hot dogs and fireworks, yes, yes, um, and they have a pool, so I'm sure the kids will be doing some swimming. Yes, go have tacos, Steve and Steph. You need to be eating some tacos. It's Tuesday. <laughs> um, Yvonne says she's grilling food, yummy. Yvonne, I guess we're not going to be stewing today, huh? Fish tacos, yummy. Um, Bulldog tacos. What are bulldog tacos? <laughs> okay. Julie says, then downtown for a fireworks show on the river. That sounds fun. Yvonne can't stew today. Hi, Leslie. Nice to see you here. Fish fry. She's having fish fry with onion rings. That sounds really good. I love fried fish. <clears throat> Um, Maggie says that she lives in a tourist area, so we hibernate at home until the crowds are gone. We had fireworks last night. Yeah, we had a fireworks. The city put on a show, too. Um, I don't know why they don't do it the actual night of, but I'm sure that there's going to be a surrounding city close by doing it. And we can usually see them all the way from our neighborhood, so, but we won't be here, so what am I talking about? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Glad to have you here. Angie's doing a picnic for real today. She got all ready yesterday, but it was today. That's so funny. I read your post on Facebook. I was cracking up, Angie. <laughs> um, okay, guys, thank you so much for coming in and, and chatting with me and, and uh, commenting and everything. I really appreciate it. Um, please do me a favor and hit the, um, the thumbs up button. Let me know that you like the video. And after the show is over, come back and leave a comment. Um, I love to hear from you guys. So, um, <laughs> all right, I guess I'm going to close it out. Everybody, I hope that you have a wonderful and happy 4th of July. And um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.